Welcome back to Training on the Go. So today we are going to talk about equity. Hello, so equity, what is equity? Now, for many people starting in property probably is one of the most uh, common uh, problem, the fact that you don't have an actual pot of money to invest in property to get started. Now, one of the things I've done was equity release so if you don't know what equity release is i'm going to explain to you straight away now the equity first of all is the difference between the value of the house that you have and the outstanding debt the debt may be the mortgage for example so that difference the uh, between the value of the house and the outstanding debt that is called equity and you can pull out part of the equity tax-free so you cannot pull out the hundred percent of the value of the house but you can pull out uh, sometimes up to 90 but it's always better not to gear your mortgage to too much so my suggestion is always keep it to 75 80 percent maximum now once you have this money that you can pull out tax-free and uh, then you can invest it uh, as a deposit to buy uh, buy to let you know another property that is going to give you not only the money of that equity but also the money of the new mortgage that you're going to get with the buy to let now some people call it uh, equity release some people call it um, further advance and some other people call it additional borrowing now what is the difference between the three absolutely nothing it's just another way to call it and the equity release will help you to get started in property so if you don't know what to do if you don't know uh, if you have equity in your house you don't know what's the value of your house then you can call the the bank the lender that gave you the mortgage in the first place and you can ask them what is my equity in the house you know do i have any equity first of all now they will tell you straight away on a, a desk based uh, valuation what the equity is on your mortgage and if is high enough and you want to pull out some of the money then you can uh, ask them if you can do this additional borrowing or further advance or equity release depends how they, how they call it and you can ask them as well what's the interest rate you're going to be charged on that one because it's not the same as the main product as the main mortgage but is um, slightly higher because you 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 gearing a little bit more your mortgage with that said is a straightforward process if you're taking the equity from the house uh, with the same lender with the same bank then it's quite straightforward and sometimes they can take 24 probably 48 hours that like it happened with me uh, or if you don't have any mortgage or if you want to uh, shop around then what you can do you can contact a mortgage broker an equity release expert uh, broker and then they can tell you what kind of lenders there are out there at the moment and they can tell you what kind of rates you can get as well so probably it's a bit more competitive of course but it's going to take a little bit longer because they're going to do an actual valuation to your house now in my case when i started in property i didn't have any money in the bank that's how i got started um, i called the bank i was with natwest at the time my mortgage my main mortgage was one 1.9 percent um, repayment so the interest was uh, 1.9 percent and in my case it was quite high the the, the additional borrowing uh, they offered me a 6.9 percent uh, and that was on based on 27,000 pounds that I could pull out from my house tax-free now uh, for many people probably if you look at the 6.9 percent that is extortionate and probably you wouldn't like to continue but in my case there was no other option so i had to accept whatever term they were going to give me uh, whatever term they were going to give me because i wanted to get started uh, so i didn't have any choice in that well don't get me wrong i did have the choice to not not to do it but uh, in my case i wanted to get started and that's how i started so i found the bank not where to say it do i have any equity yes you do have twenty-seven thousand pound uh, which means uh, you can pull it out uh, straight away and in fact two days later i received the funds into my uh, bank account and i can show you the screenshot of my um, bank account 
and with that money I used it as a deposit for um, a buy to let now bear in mind they will ask you what kind of, what, what are you going to do with the equity release it could be anything it could be um, home improvement it could be a holiday it could be a marriage it could be whatever whatever you, you you're planning to do you can do it now my suggestion is do not take uh, more money from your house and increase your mortgage um, for a liability if you have to do it do it for an asset that is going to produce you enough money then then you can spend on liabilities now I know what you're thinking Giuseppe are you saying that I have to increase my mortgage rather than decrease my mortgage because I was taught since I was a child that um, you have to pay off the mortgage as soon as possible however that is because you didn't have any financial education at school and that's why it's not smart always to pay off your mortgage earlier sometimes it's better to leverage that money which is on a low interest rate compared to an actual loan um, now nowadays you can get equity release for two percent two point five percent three percent probably but it's still quite low if you compare with a, with a normal loan uh, so you pull out the equity, you invest in the property, the property is going to give you, uh, but you have to do the, the numbers right, okay, the property is going to give you enough money to cover the first mortgage, the interest only mortgage you have in with the buy to let, and the equity release, and give you additional money in your pocket. So I hope it's been useful, if you enjoyed this video, click subscribe and the notification bell, comment below ask me any questions i'm going to reply to each of your questions so i'll see you soon bye bye for now